Yo, what's up guys, Matt Wick here. We are back with NHL 24 draft content. We are in the year 2036, and boys, we went back to back. I kind of regret not recording the playoff video this time, uh, because it was a hell of a playoff run. We kind of dominated our way through the playoffs yet again without Spencer Knight, too. I traded him away, and that's not even the biggest news either. We won the Calder Cup as well. <laughs> I didn't even notice until the final screen came up saying like, hey, you guys won. And I was like, holy shit, we won both of them. Uh, so it's a real testament to our team and our drafting, my drafting ability. Uh, and it's why you should really, uh, really take my advice uh, because uh, I know what I'm doing here, boys. I know what I'm doing. I got thousands of hours <laughs> in NHL games. Uh, definitely a, a draft god. And uh, I mean, both of our teams were pretty much fully drafted uh, besides maybe like, I think two players on our NHL roster weren't drafted by us, and then the minors. I think it, it might it might be the whole team, uh, besides maybe like one or two uh, low elites that I signed in free agency. So, uh, a hell of a season for the boys. Uh, fourth cup for this franchise, which is awesome. Uh, Pittsburgh at least has something to, to be thankful for here uh, with the Pittsburgh DraftKings coming into town. But let's get started in this draft. I did turn the um, quality uh, and the what's the other one? The depth. Uh, of the draft classes up to high just to kind of see what would happen we haven't had a franchise player we've only I think we've only had one in this entire uh, sim so far and that's our boy brian patrick when we won the lottery and got lucky enough to take him our captain who has now uh, won four stanley cups which is awesome uh, and there is a player in this draft that i want to try to trade up and get so we're going to see if we can trade with our counterparts in pittsburgh i did acquire a couple first round picks throughout the uh season uh just trading uh a couple of our guys away uh, that we needed to free up capital space because uh, Goligoski, who, by the way, the Wonder Kid, uh, he's 88 overall now, and he had, I believe, 62 goals, and he won the Conn Smythe. So let's see if we can trade up here with Pittsburgh, 32nd and the 33rd overall picks uh, for the 9th and the 5th overall pick, uh, or 5th round pick. They do not want to do that, so let's see if we can just do two. Uh, for the price of one they don't want to do that either wow okay uh i don't think the guy we want to pick is until 12 so let's go back a little bit here maybe the capitals i don't want to trade with the flyers i'd rather not do that uh but there is somebody he has the the name of names it's one that's come up in past years uh jeez come on guys i mean we're, we're stanley cup champions nobody wants to help us out uh, i guess i'll go to the flyers and see if they want to do a deal with us uh, although they don't want to give up their pick either uh so we'll see if if we can't get him we'll just uh We'll chalk it up as an L and uh, take our, our two last picks. There we go. They don't want to do it, uh, so, so we'll say whatever. Uh, we don't want to cheese the league too, too much, especially with having to pay all of our rookies uh, that are coming up. I had to let a couple guys that I like go. Uh, but let's see who's the first overall pick here. Kalanen, um, whoops, 70, number 77, 81 overall. Uh, not the best numbers there in, I'm going to assume he played in the KHL. Uh, does have two superstar abilities, which is nice. Uh, so pretty on par with what we've seen for the rest of this uh, series so far, even though the, the two draft settings are set to high. Oh, uh, uh, 72 overall. Ulf Eklund gets taken here by Minnesota. Uh, I hope he develops for you. <laughs> I mean, offensive defenseman, a lefty. Uh, let's see. Hopefully uh, St. Louis doesn't make them regret that pick. And eh, they kind of do, kind of don't. Cristiano Van Allen, cool name there. Uh, 38 assists, 18 years of age, so he is a year older. Medium elite defensive defenseman. Ooh, he's got some abilities. Let's see, did this guy have any? He did not. Um, I'd probably... Uh, offensive defensemen are pretty sweet. I'd probably go... I'd say Minnesota made a good pick there. Uh, let's see Arizona here. Can they make them pay? Uh, kinda. Whoa. Esteban. Kappa, Kappa Duok, Duok, Duoka? Duoka. Kappa Duoka. Duica. <laughs> good numbers there. I'm going to stop trying to say that name before I embarrass myself any further. Uh, good shot there. I feel like power forward so far out of the draft. Uh, seeing so far with the Penguins, with our Marcus Varlamov, what he's been able to do. Uh, kind of OP in, in some in some cases. They can be, be kind of nice. It's a big hit or miss there. Uh, but let's see what Buffalo does here with pick number five. They get Cackers, Clifford Ackers. He does have some X-Factor abilities as well. Two-way defender, very nice. Uh, and 79 overall medium elite, 43 assists for him in his season. So, hell of a season for him. And then we get the big drop off at pick number six, Ezra Stapleton. He had good numbers, but that overall, yikes, uh, not the best there. Let's see if Calgary can get a pick back here. No. Okay, so we see a big drop off already, just like we have with all of our past years. So maybe setting that to uh, 60 uh, to high really doesn't do as much as we thought it did. Tucker Ronaldo. 
uh, by the Pittsburgh Penguins there. Still haven't seen my boy go off the board yet. We'll see if the Caps take him here. Ugh, terrible pick here for the Dallas Stars who lost Sebastian Ajo and Jason Robertson uh, to retirement. Uh, both of them were 40 years old. That just tells you how far we are along in this one. But a bad pick at number 10 there uh, by the Dallas Stars. We've been seeing that in the last couple ones. Guys dropping off at 10 uh, big time. And there goes our boy, Kirk Strumbolumbolopoulos, <laughs> the name that showed up a couple times in past series. Uh, I, I guess some, someone said it's a, like a hyphenated name in Canada. It's like a French name. Um, not, not hyphenated here, uh, <laughs> but it's just a lot of letters. Uh, 68 overall, medium top six. Okay, so he really wasn't worth the two first round picks. Like I said, I just wanted him for that name. Uh, just a seat on the back of a jersey had been pretty cool. But uh, I guess we'll have to see it when we play the uh, play the Capitals there. Let's go ahead and sim back to our pick. We got back-to-back -back picks here to end the draft round. First round, we got Todd Wall. Yeah, Todd Wall. I thought this guy's name was going to be Tiny Wall. I got super excited, especially because he was five foot eight. Um, but let's see, looks like big drop-offs. We got Timothy Curry here, nice low elite pick by the little LA Kangs. Um, Bella, F what the, f what are these names? Marcel Bellafielli? Ugh. <laughs> um, not seeing names like we're seeing in College Football 25, that's for sure. I wish they would bring that back, uh, into NHL 25. We'll see if that happens. Bo, jeez, man, these names are really killing me. Bo Venkatashan, Venkatashan. Uh, we'll go with that. Medium Elite here by the Vancouver Canucks. Very nice, but a, like I said, the big drop-off in uh, overalls here. Like I said, I'm a little disappointed. Um, let's see who we want to go with here with our two picks. Let's see, we got Brennan Cambeets. Um, nothing really of note there. This guy I was a little interested in. Uh, no, not this guy, not this guy. Uh, the next guy, Bola Rice. No, Elliot Outlaw. Okay, so this guy looks decent. We don't have him fully scouted, but... Good, uh, good skill assessment there, so that leaves me something to be interested in, right winger. And then here he is, Isaiah Bola Rice. Uh, he, three years, low elite potential, eh, 17 years old, left wing, right wing. I like it, I like the last name. We're going to go with those two guys. Two American boys, good old American boys. Six foot three here with Elliot Outlaw. So, let's go, the skill assessment was right in that. Wow, where's the last time? I know we had the medium elite. He was only 61 overall, though. Uh, when's the last time 71 was that like pick yeah pick five wow so pick five was the next highest overall guy compared to ours he was even close to uh, pick number two so wow 32 overall uh the rich get richer is for sure elliot outlaw uh welcome to the team buddy right wing six foot three medium top six he'll front fit ugh, fit right in with our uh, calder cup winning uh Pen uh, Pennsylvania Draft Juniors, I believe I named him. Uh, and then let's go grab our other boy, Isaiah Bola Rice. Let's see who is better. Um, let me just do a quick peek real quick. Make sure no, there's no other skill assessment boys pop off. But that's probably the one uh, that normally pops up there in the late first. 71 overall. A little disappointing, too, that he's that low. Uh, normally we see guys come out almost NHL ready at that last couple picks. But... I will take it. I will take it. Uh, low Elite, Isaiah Bola Rice. Get on my team. 17 years of age. Left wing, right wing. Let's see what he turned out to be. Is it a big pick? Ooh, okay. He was Low Elite. So that's two steals there at the end of the first round of the draft. Again, I uh, don't want to title the video that again. I'll try to come up with something a little bit better. But uh, two two-way forwards, two beasts. Uh, hey, maybe it's like our, uh, who was it? And, uh, uh, what was their names again? Brock Ladd and, uh, jeez, oh, I'm, I'm bright, and Reidenbacher, uh, two guys that we had previously that we took uh, one pick away from each other, ended up being studs line mates for a lot of years, maybe these two, uh, coming up in the future, we'll see, we'll see, uh, but let's get here into the second round, sim to pick number 44, uh, starter goalie, Jonathan Sharp for the Philadelphia Flyers, nice pick, 60 overall though, I always hate how low these overall guys come out, uh, it's, it's tough for them to, uh, to grow, but, uh, I mean, the league's filled with a bunch of studs now, so, I mean, they must be developing. But let's see who we have here at our pick. Um, let's go ahead and sort by potential, see if anybody's beastie that's left. 69th, uh, Jua Teravainen. Um, ba -ba -ba. Ooh, okay, interesting. Four years, though, so he can't be that good. 20 years of age, too. Yeah. Um, we'll wait on him and see what we get, but let's see if there's anybody here that uh, kind of raises our eyebrows. I like this guy's name for whatever reason. Frederick Calico, 6'4 center. Good size, good strength. Put up decent numbers against eh, C competition. That's not bad. Um, but let's see 
A lot of guys we don't have a ton of scouting information on. Leonardo, Leonardo Carlos does, does not roll off the tongue. Uh, cares about winning. Okay, that's good. Possible low elite. Three years. That's interesting. I'm going to take a chance on him. Let me just look at Rich Google. Uh, three years for him as well. Mm. Mm. We have a Jemmy here, but he's confirmed low top six. Um, 18 years of age. Three years as well. Let's let's risk it for the biscuit, though. We got plenty of prospects in the uh, pool, so let's go with Leonardo Carlos. Ah, damn it. 63 overall, low top six. Uh, so probably going to be what this other guy comes out to be as well, so we'll see. Flyers with like, a lot of picks here in the second round. Um, is this? No, this is the other guy. I like the name, so he's uh, right around the same spot. Medium top nine. Pick number 99 is our next one. Let's see how far we go. Hop back into round two. Do a quick once over, see if any studs came out. 59 overall, the first pick of the second round. Yeeks. Um, anybody else? Any beasts? Any studs? Any how you doings? Flyers. Wait, how many picks did the Flyers have? Jesus Christ. Four picks in the second round? They must have traded away their whole team just to get all these picks in the second round, and they're all kind of bums. Uh, they they knew that I turned everything up to high, so they were like, "Oh, let's see, we're gonna we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a king's ransom here," uh, but not so fast. Uh, and then the third round, let's see, and then we might call a timeout, depending on what we got. But maybe we'll see if uh, ooh, enforcer, Mr. Matthew Avery, great first name. You're missing a T though, buddy. Um, James Wise, James Wise Ganji. Nothing. Mr. Sweetland, 57 overall. Oh, another Hughes brother gets drafted. What's his first name? I Israel Hughes. <laughs> uh, grinder there. Chelios grind. A couple grinders coming out. Wow, three grinders in a row. Holy cow. The league's going to be tough. Uh, medium starter there for the Ottawa Senators. And nothing else, really. Jeez, setting it to high. I thought we'd have a little bit more fun here, but it looks like it's more of the same. Um, we got three years, four years, five years. Eeks. Not fully scouted though, so it's probably three years. Um, okay, so we have two more three-year guys left. Is our, is our Jemmy? He must have got taken. Must not have been that good. Wait, uh, wow, someone jumped up and grabbed him, because he was supposed to go 90, or no, he was 69, never mind. Oops. <laughs> uh, what's this guy's name? Jeffrey Cook. He be cooking. What else do we got? Anybody around our pick? One uh, Pierre Corbert, six foot five. I like the size. Twenty years of age. I don't like the age. Five years away, and he's twenty years old. Yikes! I don't love that. Ooh, what's we got? Eddie Paco. Paco D's nuts. Um. Yeah, jeez, our scouts are are trash, man. Jeez. Uh, we got a possible Emmanuel Bogosian here. We're getting a little bit low on time. Um, goalie? What are we looking at goalie-wise? Ooh, okay. AHL starter, Rob Fast. I'm going to rob him fast. Let's grab him up. So we got San Jose Sharks back-to-back -back picks there. Um, what do we got here at the end of the first? Oh, medium fringe, 59 overall. Bust of a pick. Um, we're struggling. We're struggling here in the third. Let's see what we got with our next pick, 132. Any studs taken here in the fourth round? Come on, boys. I need something for the YouTube videos. <laughs> Dominic Douglas, 71 overall medium backup. So a much better goalie pick than ours, unfortunately. A lot of teams with back-to-back -back picks going on here. I don't know what's uh, what's up with that, but they might be planning this out behind uh, closed doors and leaving me out of these meetings. Although I'm also in the meetings, I guess, because I had back-to-back -back picks at the end of the first. <laughs> so there is that. Um, not seeing anything else. Jeez, these drafts these last couple years have sucked. I should have traded all my picks away. Uh, but then that would not make for a very interesting YouTube video if I'm just making no picks. Uh, we got Joseph McLaren here. Lefty, six foot two. Ooh, says he's an enforcer. He's got good physical, so it looks like he is. Uh, I pick, my interest is peaked. Let's see what we get. Could have waited on him, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to risk him getting taken. Is he an enforcer? He is an enforcer. 60 overall. Low low top six. Uh, not the best physicals. We'd like to see 90s, man. I've seen guys coming out with these draft classes with 90 plus physical stats. Uh, so a little disappointing there on that one. Uh, but we didn't miss out on much there with those two picks that we just saw. Um, so what else do we have? Anybody potential-wise look good? Scouts, man. I need you guys to step it up. 
Matthias Seidenberg. Bees, okay, he's a backup, three years, 19 years old, so he's going to be ready soon. And we did trade away quite a bit of goalies. Um, like I said, I got rid of Spencer Knight finally, and I traded away one of our other guys who uh, just didn't really develop, uh, even though he was a medium elite. Um, just too, too low overall to be able to get himself there. Um, we got Patrick Eaves. Pro mentality. Ooh, I love seeing that personality trait, especially with a possible medium elite. Uh, we'll wait on the goalie. We'll take him. Does not pay off. Jeez, man, we are getting bust after bust here. Does that? I mean, there might not be any medium elites left in the draft. We haven't even seen like a low elite yet. So let's skip to our next pick here. Back end of the fifth. I guess we had three first or three fifth round picks, or two. I guess. Jesus Christ! Again, we're back to back picking Dallas stars. Oh no, just same color. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Eyes are all over the place right now. I'm trying to not miss any uh, beasts there. Top 4D, Stanley Cohen, but 48 overall, 18 years of age. Yeah, he's never making it to the league unless he gets a mythical jump like Fred Goligoski got. Um, but now maybe we just grab the goaltender, take it, play it safe, take it easy. Uh, or we could go grab Sergei Zadorov. Poise, meh. If you know me, you know I like to risk it. And let's see what we got here, Sir Sir J. Oh, medium start. Okay, that's better than backup. Hey, that's better than backup. I'll take it. Uh, we'll see if he makes it to the NHL. One of my goalies, uh, I believe, the uh, like I said, I had three medium elites. One of them didn't make it. The other one stuck in development hell. And the uh, the last one, uh, 82 overall, I believe he got to. But then we had a high starter goaltender that actually jumped up in overall super fast. So he was able to lead us. To our Stanley Cup. Finally, a low elite here in the late rounds of the draft. Cyrus Rathji for the Ottawa Senators. A couple good picks for them so far. And that should be it. Once over with these guys real quick just to see what they've got. Yeah, nothing else there. But let me know, guys, are you excited for NHL 25? I have not heard any news about it yet. But I think we're coming up on a time where we should start hearing something about the game. I mean, geez, get some features out there, anything, man. Maybe next month. Maybe next month. But if you are enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Really do appreciate all the support, all the comments that you guys leave on videos. Uh, read them all. Like them all. So if you want your uh, comment liked, definitely uh, leave one below. I like this, 22 goals for this guy. Natural leader as well. We were already, earning no, 12 goals. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let's see. Let's just sort by potential, see what we get. Two possible medium elites left. Uh, I doubt that. Press X to doubt. Um, Santiago Spezza. Jason Spezza, man, he's getting around. He's going down to these uh, Spanish-speaking countries and, uh, and maybe laying some wood. <laughs> um, anybody here? Four years? Five years? Just give me someone with some low years. Maybe a three years? Anybody? Four years? Five years? Come on. Anybody, please. Nobody. Nobody that we have scouted is uh, potentially ready in three years. Really. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go with that, guys. Yeeks. Maybe it takes a little while for that to kick in. With the uh, setting it both the high, maybe it takes a couple draft classes for them to clear out and generate, but I'm not noticing much of a difference so far. <laughs> so let's just go ahead. I guess we'll just take a shot in the dark. Uh, Renny Racine. Ooh, a nice French name. Um, medium top four. Why not? Get on the team, buddy. Let's see what he turned out to be. We got two rounds left. 53 overall. Medium 70. Another terrible pick. But like I said, nobody else is making good picks, so I don't feel too bad about it. Um, let's go through here. Anybody here? Come on, come on, please. Anybody? A lot of medium bottom six guys. I mean, you need them to fill out your roster, but... <laughs> Santiago Spezza, 56 overall, low starter. That's not bad. What's this guy's name? Clayton Rally. Oh, we got Devin Pope. Daction. 61 overall. That's the highest overall I've seen in a little while. Jackson Hughes, another Hughes, brother. Jeez, they're just popping them out now. Um, And yeah, nothing else there. Alright, let's go ahead and make the pick, and then we'll trade back for the seventh over, last pick of the seventh round, and finish out this one. Little disappointing back in the draft. Beginning was, uh, was, was interesting. At least we got that good pick 
uh, there towards the front end. Curtis Milroy, 5'8". We got enough small guys on this team. We need to add some size. Um, 20 years old Garrett Stevies. Kind of just want to take the biggest dude I can. Oh, there he is. El Eli Nokis, 6'5", 223. Five years. Jeez, come on, man. Give me something that's not like Ashton Pisani. I mean, I like the 17s, so at least he's going to be... At least get some time to develop. Let's see what his overall comes out to be. Probably not much higher than 50. 51. So, yeah, not much higher. Uh, so I'll take it. I guess medium bottom six is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the last pick here. What are we looking at on time? Uh, oh, we do have last pick. Yeah, we did win the cup. That makes sense. Uh, pick 231. Normally, I trade that pick away. Oh, and finally, Brody Georgievic. I think I got it. Uh, good pick there by the Montreal Canadiens, who we... Uh, Beat in the Eastern Conference Final. Elias Pettersson had like 122 points, I think, um, at the age of 38. So he's still kicking and still beating it up. Just getting better with age. Nice pick there by Tampa Bay, a low elite. So we got two at least in the seventh round. Um, we'll see if we can make it three with our pick, but I highly doubt it. Three already. There we go. The Capitals did it. Curtis Milroy, a uh, decent player there. 48 overall. Um... Four low elites in the fourth, in the seventh round. Oh my goodness! I don't know what to say now. Oh, I guess I'm. Oh, and a medium elite. What? We. <laughs> so this seventh round is juiced. Uh, we got a Jackson Vanden Bushy, Bussy, um, <laughs> here with the uh, first pick in the seventh round. Wow. So this might be a legendary class uh, for the seventh round. Let's see if we can add something on top of it. Uh, we got a possible two bar medium elite Yuri. Carp, Carp of Stev, Carp of Stev, hopefully, <laughs> um, does care about winning, okay, that's good, we love that, we like that, we want to win here, um, come on, man, there's a lot of pressure on me to make this pick right, passionate, five years, five years, nothing there, skill assessments, anything, I mean, this is just going to be a crapshoot, pretty much, that guy possibly has an X Factor, back at you, eh, two bars, not really too sure about that, Anybody putting up big numbers? 13 and 30. That's not bad. Tommy Nielsen. Toby Vitale. Ooh. Is this guy medium? Oh, no. He's top medium. 14 goals, 34 assists at 19 years of age. Calvin Pujar. Very loyal, but can lack the drive to win. We don't love that. Um, 34 assists, though, plus 12 is pretty nice. What's his competition level? D. Ugh. Um, let's grab one of these top guys. A plus, he had a goal. Plus five, 13 minutes a game. That's not bad. D minus. D. C minus. Okay, not bad. E. Holy shit, how bad is that league? <laughs> oh my god. That must mean the uh, talent pool is really low. But let's go ahead, grab Yuri, the last name that I can't pronounce, and uh, just hope for the best. Make the pick. Get back to ours. 70. Fuck! All right, so we had a lot of picks. Only really hit on two of them, the first two. Uh, but hey, that's all you need to build a winning franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know any other ideas that you'd like to see for NHL videos. I'm thinking of uh, doing, trying to set up a roster for the tiny players versus giant players. Did that one back in the day and it was pretty fun. So maybe do that again and uh, just mess around a little bit. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Uh, as always, make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe if you want more gaming content. And I appreciate you watching, boys. Peace!